Hello, I'm Rani Hughes, an occupational therapist, and I'm here today talking with Dr. Paul Lamb, the creator of the Tai Chi for Health programs. Hello, Dr. Lamb. Hey, Rani. Dr. Lamb, how did you first begin Tai Chi? In 1974, I graduated from the medical school, University of New South Wales in Sydney. And for a person like me with really poor background, it was way beyond my dream. So I was on top of this world. I went out and get quite drunk. And the next day, I wake up with lots of pain. That remind me how bad my arthritis were. Alcohol numbed the pain, and when the next day, the pain came back with vengeance. During the Great Famine, where millions of Chinese died, we were struggling to survive. Years of malnutrition leads to damage to the cartilage and the bones. So by 13, I have arthritis. A major miracle allowed me to escape China. I was in Australia. I worked hard for a scholarship and I finished medicine, but by that time, my arthritis got worse. And I know the future for me is more medication, joint replacement, and limitation of what I want to do. And I didn't want that. So that's why I tried Tai Chi. Did Tai Chi help? It did, but it took a long time. It took about three years before I felt the benefit, but I persevered. Three years is a long time to persevere. What made you persevere? It was. Um, there is something magical about Tai Chi, and at times I can feel I got something, some of it, and then it slipped through my fingers. And I thought, if I keep working on it, then I'll get it one day. However, a recent study published and the study was um, done by Professor Leah Callahan from University of North Carolina. That's the world's biggest study for Tai Chi for people with arthritis. There were 354 people involved in this study. They were divided into two groups. One does my program, Tai Chi for Arthritis. The other group just wait for eight weeks. And then eight weeks later, they, they measure people before and after. After eight weeks, the Tai Chi group has significantly less pain. They can do more in their daily activities. They feel better about themselves and they have better balance. That's extraordinary. What's the difference between the Tai Chi? People can gain benefit in eight weeks and it took you three years. It was years, over 40 years of work from myself and from many other people. Um, when I got that benefit, I, I got really passionate about Tai Chi. And there's an intrinsic fascination, mysterious thing about Tai Chi that I, I want to know more. And as a doctor, it's my job to find the best and the quickest solution for my patients. So here, I know three years is too long. And I think if I know that, that magic, that secret, then I could cut it down. I was very lucky that I get to know Professor Meng Hui Fang and his wife, Professor Kang Guixiang. They both are two of the most famous and most respected teachers in China. They were from the Beijing Institute of Physical Education. That's the top institute where most, at that time, most of the national champions come from. So I was lucky that they accept me and I traveled to China to learn from them. Dr. Lam, what was the experience like? I, I went for many years. It was 
uh, amazing experience and also very challenging. When I first met him, he asked me, what would you like to learn? And at that time, I had learned my Tai Chi from my late father-in-law, who was a close student from the most famous Tai Chi teacher, the grandson of the Yang style creator. Yang style is the most popular Tai Chi most people do. And so he's very direct from the creator. And my father-in-law taught me everything that he knows. He encouraged me to explore more. So when Professor Meng asked me that, I thought, well, my Tai Chi was pretty good. And I just like to improve on what I have. And right in the busy street, we find a quieter corner. He squats down, and he says, show me your Tai Chi. So I did. I show him my classical, traditional 108 form tai, Yang style Tai Chi. And I was sort of expecting something nice from him. And I look at him, there is something in his eyes. He, he, he kind of looked kind of lost. And suddenly, all my Chinese culture came back. Well, I have the Chinese culture. I grew up in the Chinese village. I learned classical Chinese and, and have a really deep culture. But when, when I came to Australia, I have to learn English. I adapt to Western way of life. When I become a Western qualified doctor, I was thinking Western, behave like a Western. And uh, suddenly, I knew the Western way is not going to work here. If I were to learn from the professors, I need to bring back my Chinese culture. And it just came within seconds. I straightened up, and I said to him, Professor Meng, it's such an honor to learn from you. Anything you teach me would be wonderful. And ever since that, I was a, a very diligent Chinese student, which is actually challenging. And I think the most important, though, is that everything they taught me, I really take it in heart, think about it, practice it, practice it. When we were in Beijing, I practiced so hard that at night time, when you turn, the muscle pains wake me up every time I turn. Mm, I'm very interested to hear more about the magic, but I'm a little bit, the struggle of going to China every year, like what, what sort of toll did that take? I think the worst though is that I love my family, my kids, and it was so hard to leave them, to go away. The eyes of my kids seems to say that don't leave me, and I want to cancel everything. But I went, and and part of that is, I know it was clear to me, if I didn't have Tai Chi, my health be so different, my arthritis be so bad. And Tai Chi not only helped me with the physical things. It helped me to improve my immunity, and the Tai Chi helped me to find myself. So I was able to be a, a better father, better husband, better doctor. In a way, I didn't deprive my kids. I brought something, but it was hard to leave them. It was really hard to leave them. It sounds very challenging. But I'm quite fascinated that these challenges you just kept coming, overcoming, overcoming because you glint that magic. Can you explore a little bit about what is that magic you're talking about in Tai Chi? Yeah, it's, it's actually almost too simple because Tai Chi is created based on the law of nature and Chinese traditional medicine. And I also practice Chinese traditional medicine nearly as long as I practice my Western medicine. The ultimate purpose of Tai Chi is to improve your qi. Chinese traditional medicine, based on that central concept of the qi, when it's strong and harmonious, then you are healthy and 
happy and harmonious. When the qi is disturbed too slow, too fast, in different parts of body, then different parts of your organs or your body become sick. So stronger qi, healthier life. And Tai Chi's purpose, as I found out, is so simple, just to make your qi stronger. But it is very effective, and the way to do it, there's a set of principles that no matter what style and what forms of Tai Chi you do, if you follow those principles, that's the key, then you will get the stronger and healthier qi. So what are those principles? <laughs> Well, let me uh, show you my Tai Chi and uh, explain it as we go. Tai Chi is the art from ancient China. Looking from outside, Tai Chi looks gentle, slow, and continuous. The Tai Chi principles are so effective at improving health and wellness. That is because they're based on the law of nature in Chinese traditional medicine. Let me explain some of the important principles. Moving mindfully slow helps to integrate body and mind. Mindfulness has been shown by studies to improve many aspects of health and relaxation. Moving smoothly brings a feeling of serenity. Practicing Tai Chi often brings us to a mental state of Jing. Jing is a Chinese word which means mental quietness, which is like a meditative state similar to being in flow. Dr. Lam, what is flow? Flow means people are so engaged in the activity they're doing that they're not aware of the space or the time. And when they fully engage in flow state, people do better than their very best. And um, study has shown that when people are more often in flow, their life are happier and more fulfilled. Just like when they do Tai Chi, more often they're happier and more fulfilled. Then when you look at the posture of us, our bodies are bright. And the uh, study has shown when your body is upright, it strengthens the stabilizers, which are the muscles that protect and make your spine strong. So like the Tai Chi is saying, it makes you strong from inside. And you know, um, the stabilizer have a lot to do with back pain. Back pain is very common. 90% of the people of the population in any age, at one stage of their time, have back pain. And 60%, around 60% of them, will come back. So it's a real pain in the back. However, study has shown that the stabilizers have a lot to do with it. When you have back pain, the stabilizers go weak. If you strengthen the stabilizers, that get rid of the back pain quicker, and also uh, reduce the recurrence. The world's biggest study, Tai Chi for back pain, done by the University of Sydney, using my Tai Chi for arthritis program. And it's shown that people who have done the Tai Chi has less back pain, can do more in their daily life, feel better about themselves. And we are very mindful of our weight transference and practice your Tai Chi in that way, then you become better in your balance. In fact, that is why Tai Chi has been proven by many studies to prevent falls. And uh, most Western countries, the health departments, actually fund Tai Chi to prevent falls. In fact, in the USA, the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention has recommended my Tai Chi for Arthritis program for false prevention. Wow, that sounds fascinating. Is it hard to follow these principles? That is the beauty of these principles. They are almost embedded 
in Tai Chi. So all you have to do is follow the movements, uh, especially the Tai Chi for Health programs. It, everything is embedded too. So it's very easy. Just follow and gradually the principle will develop within you and you get to understand it more and more as you follow it longer. Dr. Lamb, how does this relate to your three years of practice versus the eight weeks to gain the benefits of Tai Chi? Well, because once you know the secret or the principle or the key to something, you can really get there much quicker. For example, the Tai Chi for arthritis program only has 12 movements instead of the long 73 forms. And we can also use that principle to select the best program, put them in the right order according to the principles. The length of time can be cut short through better teaching methods so that people learn quicker and they gain the benefit quicker. We make the teaching, the learning so much more enjoyable no wonder there's millions of people around the world <laughs> practicing this Tai Chi for health. I think it's because people are looking for something they can do to empower themselves, but it needs to be something relatively quick and very enjoyable to do. Otherwise, no matter how effective an activity is, if people don't like it, it's not going to last. Dr. Lam, can anyone learn Tai Chi? Absolutely especially our Tai Chi for Health program. As a doctor, I get so much benefit from Tai Chi and I want to share it with my patients and with really anybody, as many people as possible. Uh, so we adapt the Tai Chi for Health program for people with almost any condition. Take example, Richard Lin who a retired Air Force mechanic. He used to be the chief mechanic for the Air Force demonstration team, the Thunderbird. And one day, he's got a mysterious illness. He was in intensive care, almost totally paralyzed. And he started using my Tai Chi for rehabilitation program by visualizing. That helped him to recover, and half a year later, he was in Sydney, undergo two weeks of training. Wow. Dr. Lam, I know you established the Tai Chi for Health Institute. What is this? Tai Chi for Health Institute is a non-profit educational organization. Its purpose is to empower people to improve their health and wellness through the Tai Chi for Health program. The Tai Chi for Health Institute was formed um, for the purpose of empowering everyone for health and wellness. And our vision is to make the Tai Chi for Health program accessible for everyone so that they can have health and wellness. Are there any final things you'd like to share with us today? Tai Chi builds inner strength and help us to interact with others in a more positive, harmonious way. And if every individual do that, then we have a community who are able to communicate with other community or other countries in a positive, harmonious way. And so it's our hope that Tai Chi can also help to bring a more positive, more harmonious future. At age of 70, after 57 years of having arthritis, I'm still getting stronger and more flexible. And I want to let everybody know that if I can do it, so can everyone. Thank you so much for sharing with us today, Dr. Lamb. <laughs>